Hey everyone, welcome to Stock Trader Jack. Today we're going to look at how to calculate RSI in Google Sheets. The first thing we're going to need to do is get the price history of the stock. And that's using this formula. So I just did this if error. That's You can add that in or not add that in. But it's Google Finance. And then I'm going to point it to a reference cell, which is going to be B2. You type in all in quotations, comma, and then these are the dates. So earliest, like from then I want to see it in daily you can also change this to weekly monthly and that's basically the key part of the formula this is just saying if there's an error then make it blank so I'll show you what that looks like completely blank so if I take that away all that just vanishes I'm gonna go ahead and paste that back in now the cool thing about having it referenced to a cell is if I want to change it to like say carnival then it'll change to carnival if I want to change it to we'll do zoom then it'll just pull those right up so I'm gonna go ahead and actually just take that back to Apple so now I've got the chart all the way from December 24th 2019 to today it actually will go up to yesterday the most recent close I actually recommend doing this just go down to the bottom and add in today and then you can also get the price open by doing this formula Google and then use your reference cell, quotation, price open, end quotation, high, low, price. This just means the current price, or in other words, the one it's going to close at, and you know the one that it's at right now, then volume. And that way you have everything up to the most recent trade. So now we're, let's go ahead and create some indicators. I just put these on a separate sheet. So I'm going to show you how to calculate RSI like you see in a broker um, here. So I'll pull this up in Weeble. This will actually show you the RSI on the chart um, and just give you an idea what that looks like. This is on the desktop version. They do have this available on mobile app. I'll just include a link below this video. So if you don't have a broker right now, this is a free one to use. There's no commissions when you trade these stocks, which is awesome. So this is the RSI. When it goes down to this level, this basically means it's been sold like crazy and usually can only get pushed so far before there's a bounce now how hard that bounce is is anyone's guess but yeah this is how you use some technical analysis to decide when something is overbought or oversold so to calculate that inside Google Sheets the first thing you need to do I'm just gonna go ahead and have you caption each one of these rows so it's gonna be change gain loss average gain average loss, RS, and 14-day RSI. We're just going to go off 14 days. Some people want to do a different amount of days, and that's fine. Standard is 14. Going into, I'm on cell I5, so this is going to be F5 minus F4, and that is your close minus the close of the day before. That just says how much change there was. So in this case, it closed $1.41 higher than the day before. Next, we're going to go into the gain. This is going to say if it was above, if this right here, cell I5, if the change was greater than zero, then give me that number. Otherwise, leave it at zero. Because in this column, we just want to include gainers. If it lost, then we're going to go ahead and do the opposite. In other words, if it was less than zero, then I want this number however I don't want to include if it was a negative number so in order to make this a positive number so that all the math works out when it's all said and done I'm gonna make sure I have that negative in front of the cell value now that means that both these columns should be positive numbers okay now we're gonna go ahead and go down 14 days so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay now that I'm 14 days down I'm actually gonna sum up the gains you can either go sum the gains and divide by 14, or you can just go ahead and use average. It doesn't matter which one you do, you will get the exact same number. Then we're also going to do the same thing for average loss. Next, we're going to go to RS and divide the losses over the gains. Since we divide those two together, we're going to get the RS. Okay, next column over. 
This is where the formula gets a little bit bigger. So we're going to type in if parentheses m18, or in other words, um, the average loss equals zero, thinking 100. Otherwise, 100 minus parentheses 100 divided by parentheses 1 plus n18 close parentheses three times on this. Yeah, I know that's quite the, the uh, formula there, and I'll include that in the description of the video. But yeah, that will give us the 14-day RSI. This is really valuable for those traders who consider themselves technical traders and like to know by how much you know power it's overbought or oversold, which could signal the types of reversals they're looking for. All right, and now for the moment you've been waiting for, Let's put this thing on a chart. I'm going to highlight the RSI column all the way up to the top, or at least as far as that 14 day will go. We'll just go insert chart. And voila, we have our chart for our RSI for this stock. And that's it. Okay, now if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Other than that, that is our tutorial of how to do RSI in Google Sheets. Wanting to learn more about being a stock trader? Check out more free content at StockTraderJack.com. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button.